Hey guys, Chip here. And today what I want to do is I want to share a couple little utilities with you that I've recently created that are easy to use, make my life quite a bit easier. So I create a lot of Blender files and I have a lot of Blend 1 files and you guys probably know what I'm talking about. So if you typically save something either using PowerSave or whatever, you're going to find that you've got a lot of these Blend 1 files and they can take up a lot of room on your hard drive if you're not careful. And so I have this new little script that I'll share with you the link for. It's called delete blend one files. When you click it, it's going to say you want to delete the files and you can choose just the folder that this file resides in, or you can choose all the subfolders as well. And when you said, okay, it's going to basically tell you how many files it deleted. In this case, zero, because it hasn't actually had a chance to make a backup yet, but I've had it delete hundreds of files. Let's try something else. Let's save this somewhere else. Let's go to blend files. Let's just grab something that I know that I've got a lot of files in. Let's go to this, maybe this white room. Okay. So I'm going to save this here. I'll just save it right here in this file. Okay. And then I'll say delete blend files and include subfolders. And see, I've deleted five blend one files. So that's a real handy tool. Saves a lot of room on your disk. The other one is this remap material image files. And now this is a real interesting one because there's a lot of times where you're actually working a scene and you're actually duplicating materials without thinking about, without understanding. Maybe if you go through here and you append something, a material, you're going to be duplicating it. And if it has images, you're actually duplicating the images. So if I hold the control key down here, you'll see that it adds unique material to this. So you can see that this is unique. If I go up here and just move this around like that, you'll see yeah, it's, just, it's a completely different material. And if we look at it, it's got a different name. And if I go over here in the blend file, blender file, you'll see in the images, we'll see that, yeah, we've got two of these here. Now the same thing can happen if you're, if you're using the asset browser, right? So if you come in here and let's just grab like this material and I'm going to add it here and then shift T, move, move this here, scale it down and let's, and be, let's set this to append also. So when we do with an append, now look at the, we have a ton of these woods, right? So these woods are all the same. If I want also, I can rename these. So they don't have to have the same name. What we're doing is we're actually checking the data, not just the name of the file. So we're actually looking for duplicated data in the, in the texture. And so the way you use this is you go into edit and you say remap materials. And when you do that, we're going to see that it remapped all of these materials. And if I go into the data API. And let's take a look at these materials. So we'll go to images and let's look at Fred, for instance. So Fred has zero users now, right? Wood one has four users. So that one have been, that's the one that we're using. So, so if I go back out of here and I just say file cleanup, uh, recursive unused data, it's going to remove those four. And now we go back up here and see, we just have one. And so that just uh, reclaimed a lot of space, a lot of file space inside of our blender file. So anyway, these are two nice little utilities and check them out. You might f find them useful. Always, always back up, I would say, but I've tested these quite a bit on PC. Have not tested them on Mac and Linux, but they should work. But if you have any problems, let me know and we'll get it resolved. Have a great day. See ya. Bye.